My name is David Peterkin from uh, Winners TV, St. Lucia, Aquascope, a program you will be seeing every Wednesday night from 8 to 9. Uh, with me, Mark DeCall, Grenada, Try to Spice, certainly a fantastic event today, Mark. You must be very pleased with all your hard work and very pleased with what has happened today so far. Yeah, so far the day is going really, really well. We're only halfway through. Uh, the kids are this afternoon. Uh, it's going to be crazy. But uh, very, very happy with how things went this morning. No hiccups. Everything went smoothly. Everybody's commented that they had a great time. Um, so very, very happy so far. And of course, everything gets better every year. You now have a timing system that you have in place now. Everything is automated. No one's going to argue about the times. Yeah, everything's automated. Um, Jason's been helping me um, sort that out. But uh, yeah, we're happy to, to be able to have that uh, to offer to the athletes so that it's easy, it's straightforward. The results are immediate. They don't have to think about it. Uh, it's just much better for them, much better experience for them. So we're really happy about that. And of course, this is an annual event. Another one next year, a bigger one you plan. Yeah, next year is the 25th anniversary. And of course, uh, we'll be also hosting the Caribbean Championships next year. So we're very excited about the event next year. Really looking forward to it. Of course, the OECS event has also been put in as well. And you all are hosting the OECS. Is it this year, Mark? Yeah, this year it's the OECS Championships as well, so uh, we're proud to be able to host that. Actually, the second year in a row we're hosting the OECS Championships, and uh, so that's been great. And looking forward to graduating to Caribbean Championships next year. Good, and so far we've seen some great triathletes from Antigua. They've been doing pretty well at this triathlon. Looks as though they won the OECS this year. Yeah, uh, OECS looks like they, they won the um, sprint triathlon, men's. I uh, forgot who the women's winner was, but uh, and then in the Olympic distance, of course, it looks like it might be Ansel Green out of Trinidad and Tobago. So um, it's it's been mixed. Well, of course, uh, Trinidad doesn't um, count as OECS, but um, overall winner. So I'm not even sure who the OECS. Might be uh, Danny Donlan from Grenada, actually. Um, we think is going to be the OECS champion for the Olympic event men's. Great, great, great. And of course, with Mark nearly every year, it's his very good friend, Jason Gooding from Trinidad and Tobago, the Rainbow Triathlon in Tobago, very successful. Mark, Jason, as you know, is really qualified, ITU. Jason, tell us a little bit about what you think about today. Tell us a little bit what you think about triathlon and how it's going to work in our part of the world. Um, triathlon, it's, it's well, in our part of the world, it's still developing. Um, when you go abroad, you really see numbers of people do triathlon it's actually a major sport in in uh, the rest of the world in the caribbean you know we still focus on football and cricket but um for the, with it, very soon we're going to change that with grenada triathlon the tobago uh toyota rainbow cup international triathlon in tobago um the upcoming st lucia triathlon and uh, once we can start making it a big name in the caribbean more and more people in in this region are going to start taking it a little more serious um, right now, triathlon, it's a new sport. It's a new marathon. You know, everybody back in the days wanted to do a marathon to say they have achieved something. Now that has gone out of the door. Now the new thing is a triathlon. You ain't cool unless you're doing triathlon. So, um, so that's what we, we, we want to offer that by having cool events that people can now become more cool by doing triathlon. Oh, very nice, very nice. Well, both of you are going to be in St. Lucia for the September 4th triathlon we're going to be having there. And we certainly look forward to seeing you. Now, What's very important as well is the future of triathlon. And Mark, I know you have a schools program in place. How's that been doing? Yeah, that's good. Uh, we started that last year and we had about five or six schools take part. This year, it's upwards of 12 schools. There's over 140 kids coming this afternoon to take part. So uh, it blew up a lot faster than we expected it to. And you know, last year we saw a lot of mistakes we made in implementing it, and we thought we corrected those. And of course, this year we saw you know 10 more mistakes that we could have <laughs> fixed. So next year it should be even bigger, even better again. You know. And it's so good to see the kids are out, the kids are doing something so good. We need things for the kids to do. We need them to set goals. A triathlon, you have to set more than one goal. The overall goal of winning the race and the goal of making your swim better, the goal of making your cycle better, the goal of making your run better. Your thoughts on that? Certainly, the uh, kids are the future. And if we don't focus on our kids, we don't focus on our future. So we definitely need to start with the kids. Um, we're doing the same in Trinidad. We offer more events. Um, we have a few more clubs than in Grenada. But eventually, once more and more people get involved, you start getting schools involved. You start getting, they start thinking, hey, we're going to form a club. You start getting more clubs. It starts getting more competitive. And then before, you, before long, you're going to have an Olympian uh, right coming out of the Caribbean again. So. Uh, well, we're looking forward as well to getting a lot of assistance from the ITU. 
you, Mark, have been involved with the ITU as well, Jason. Do you think we can get help in terms of um, third world countries, developing countries? How do they help with that? Yeah, you know, the ITU have a really big development program. They work really hard in trying to get as many flags under the ITU and other big programs as possible. And they have a number of different programs that they release every, uh, every four years, every Olympiad. Um, and in different ways from um, coaching courses to um, you know developing with development with kids uh, the kids that are already doing well doing development programs to transition them from junior races to um, to elite racing you know so um, yeah it, it, it's good it, it, they, they work very very hard they work very hard good and Jason you are an ITU technical man it's something you say that's achievable for many of us here in these islands, in the Caribbean. It doesn't take that long. It just takes a little bit of interest. You become an official. You help grow the sport in your country. Certainly. Um, basically, what a technical official does is you, you kind of learn... You, you learn from the International Triathlon Union how to run proper events. Um, from athletes coming into your country, at the transportation, to the site, to the safety aspects on the race course, to spectator friendliness for spectators being around. Um, every aspect of, of an event, there's so many different sections of it. When you come, a lot of people come to the race and they see the race and they think that's it. But it's like, that's the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Everything happens behind, beforehand. I mean, Mark and I have been up late uh, for the last few nights just making sure that everything is in place so we can have a successful event here and um, every event once it's once it's run properly and once you want it to, to be done properly there is a lot of background work and um, I know his mom Auntie Liz she helps and she does a lot of the background work she's you know in charge of uh, all the registrations all the athletes calls her uh, um, a lot of calls are being made to you know making sure that um, police know that the roads are going to be closed off for the day making sure that uh, tents are here, chairs are here, but when we don't want people to see that. We want people to come and just have a really good event and it should run smoothly and so far this Grenada Triathlon this year has been doing that. So a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation, but you, mostly, you, you both are very, very pleased with the outcome. Yeah, very, very happy so far. Looking forward to the kids this afternoon. It should go as well as this morning did. Everything's already in place. So, yeah, very, very excited, but looking forward to a rest next week for sure. As Jason said, this week we haven't slept very much at all, but of course, you know, it's beyond that. The last two months, um, it's been continuous seven-day weeks, late nights in the office. Um, but it, it's all worth it uh, on the day. On the day. Um, yeah. yeah. And Jason? We're triathletes, so that's what we're accustomed to. Yeah. Hard work, re little rest. And of course, you, when you leave here, you're off again. You're all over the world because you're an ITU official now. Where next to? Uh, when I get back home on Tuesday morning, I leave Wednesday, Wednesday morning to go to uh, the Monterey World Cup. It's an international triathlon union event and we're going to be seeing all the pros, a lot of the pros come there to race at this event to, to uh, gain qualifying world ranking points. And the higher ranked you are, the better your chance of getting into the, into the Olympic Games are. And with Olympic Games in 2012, um, a lot of people are just very feverish about trying to get to as many events as possible. So. Um, yeah, I'm off to, to, I'm the technical uh, assistant, so I'm looking forward to that event. You know, I've, uh, some of the other events I've gone to were um, Commonwealth Games in 2006 in Melbourne, Australia, as the chief finish line official there. Uh, last year, I was at um, the Singapore, the first ever Singapore Junior Olympic Games, or the Youth Olympic Games. So um, that was a really good uh, opportunity to, to kind of just see how, how well and how much more we can improve on, on doing events and putting on triathlons in this region. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Mark. No My problem. two guests. Jason Gooding of the Rainbow Triathlon in Tobago and Mark Nicole, Grenada, Try the Spice. My name's David Peterkin. My thoughts on it, certainly a wonderful event. It's a type of event we want to see. It encourages our young people to come out and be involved with sport, to get off the streets, to do something that's meaningful for them in their lives, to help them in the future. My thoughts of the event as it happened, really well run, excellent, great people coming in here, enjoying it, not only for the event, but enjoying it for the people around them. The warmth of the Caribbean people, and we keep on inviting the world, come on down to our triathlons. This is David Peterkin for Aquascope on Winners TV.